Hi all, welcome to yet another video. In this video, we will learn how to create a fully automatic water tank level controller with dry pump run protection feature. Last time, we did another video on this topic using ultrasonic sensor. We are publishing this video upon the special request from our viewers. Without any further ado, let's get started. Let's learn the designing and working of this project using given block diagram. The first block is the Arduino Nano. Arduino is the brain of this project. It will take input from the sensors and control all other units according to the value received. The second block is 16 x 2 LCD display. This unit will display the water level in percentage as well as in bar diagram. It will also show the pump status. This section will also notify us whenever the sump tank is empty. Third block is the overhead tank water level sensors. This is used to measure the water level present in the overhead water tank. These are five pieces of wires dipped inside the water tank. Let's understand the working principle of the wire sensor. The bottom wire will be connected to the 5 volt supply other pins are connected to the analog pin of Arduino. A closed loop will be created when the wire comes in touch with the water. The voltage received on the Arduino analog pin will be converted to a corresponding digital value. This way, we can detect the presence of water. The fourth block is the sum tank water level sensor. These are two copper wires which are dipped into the sum water tank. The analog pin present on the Arduino Nano will be used to sense the presence of water same like for the overhead tank sensors. The fifth block is the internal relay plus water pump. Arduino will control the water pump using the internal relay. The relay present on the circuit can be used to start up to one HP single phase water pump without starters. The sixth block is the external relay. This is also used for the same purpose. You can use this section to replace the internal relay with any relay which is operating in 5V DC to get better power rating for driving the water pump. The seventh block is the buzzer. This is used for notification purpose. Buzzer will notify you with different type of beep sounds on different conditions such as some tank empty, pump dry run notification alarm, pump turn on notification, pump turned off notification, etc. Now let's move to the components required to build this project. You can buy all these components from third-party vendors like eBay, Amazon, etc. Purchase links are in the description. Here is the circuit diagram for our design. If anyone want to implement this project without using a PCB, then please refer this diagram. Now let's have a look into the PCB designing process. You can choose online or offline platform for designing your PCBs. Here we used Fritzing software to design the PCB. Once we finish the design, we will generate the Gerber file needed for manufacturing the PCB. Then we ordered the PCB from JLC PCB, which are also the sponsor of this video. JLC PCB is a manufacturer of high quality PCBs which are used in many industries for prototyping as well as in DIY projects. Once you have your PCB design ready, simply upload the Gerber file, select the property you want and order your PCBs at a reasonable price. If it is your first order from JLC PCB, you can get up to 5 PCBs only for $2. Please contact us if you would like to have Gerber file that we have used in this project. Contact details are there in the description. Now let's try to solder the components. Try to solder the small components first and then proceed with the big ones while soldering the components to the PCB. This will make the soldering process easier. Follow the same procedure to complete the soldering process for rest of the components. For more information, please visit link in the description. Now we can upload the sketch to our Arduino. 
connect Arduino to your computer using the USB cable and upload the code shown here. We have added comments in the program for better understanding of each codes. We have also added links to watch Arduino IDE installation for Windows and Ubuntu in the description. This will help you to understand more about Arduino if you are using it for the first time. Please visit link in the description to download the program. We are going to assemble the project as shown in the diagram. Please refer the sequence shown in this video while assembling the components together. For the demo purpose, we are using a 12V DC water pump. Let's test the project. We will go through all the possible scenarios while testing our project. Let's see the working first. Then we will test all the possible scenarios one by one. We hope that you have enjoyed the project and we would like to thank you once again for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel if you like this video.